let's add the two fractions. We have one fourth and one sixth. So one fourth plus one sixth, what do we get? What we need to do is find a common denominator. We need to get these numbers here to be the same because then with fractions, we just add the numerators and we're done. So let's do this. We could just take four times six and then over here, six times four. So six times four, that gives us 24 and four times six, that gives us 24. That will give us the same denominator. We do have to multiply the numerator though too. You can't just multiply the denominator by a number. You need to multiply the numerator by the same number. Let's go six over six here. That would just be one. So we're just multiplying by one. We won't change the value, just the way it's represented. Over here, we'll multiply by four. So we have four over four. But now six times one is six. Six times four is 24. And then here, one times four is four, and six times four, that's 24. So now we have the same denominators, we just add the numerators. So six plus four, that equals 10. And then when we add fractions, because these are the same, we just keep the denominator the same, 24, and one fourth plus one sixth, that's 10 24ths. You could reduce this down. These are both even numbers. Let's divide both the numerator and the denominator by two. 10 divided by two is five. 24 divided by two is 12. So we could simplify that down to five twelfths. So in answer to our question, one fourth plus one sixth, that equals five twelfths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.